Hello and welcome to a special edition of Designer Speak. I'm your host Christopher Scott and today I'm joined by Julio Pazimino and a very special guest from all the way from Italy, Matteo Pont. Cheers guys. So we're going to talk about something that's connected to us and also to Matteo and that is what is the difference or if there is any difference between design um, and art in, in Europe and South America. So, Matteo, we'll start with you. What is your feelings on, on this topic? Yeah, well, I thank you to invite me here. And, uh, it's a pleasure. I think that uh, one of the most important thing in uh, graphic design in Europe is that we had a lot of background culture that which in one part give us a lot of uh, instruments and tools, but from the other hand, it's like to be a problem because it sometimes is um, it's not helping you to go forward. And I think that here in South America, which is probably there are not so much rules, is more easier to people in Ecuador do what they want. Yeah. <laughs> That, and for for some reason, I think it's a, it's, they're really lucky. But for on the other hand, it's better f to have like a, a background of, of culture. What I was saying uh, in a speech this morning is then, uh, as Picasso said, you need to know the rules to breaking them. Yes. And the thing is that, um, and you probably agree with this, Julio, is that uh, there is no rules or there is no history of design in Ecuador, so just people do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, actually, like people in Ecuador, like as Mateo said, they don't have a background. So in our culture, we just do what we think is right. And that's the thing. I, I don't know if they, they do what they think is right. They just do what they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, because we don't have like rules. No, in Ecuador, there's no rules at all. <laughs> Yeah, not even for design. But, you know, for, no, for design or for, life. I think that for some reason it's better because like, uh, it's like, you know, a uh, uh, completely flat field when you can put seeds and grow like trees. And uh, it's easier because in, uh, in Europe it's like a jungle now. There is a lot and it's also more difficult to like uh, work because there are a lot of uh, competi um, how can I say, the, um, of competitors. And I think it, here is more easy to find the, your way in the market of graphic design. I think that, uh, that's probably true. I think that in Ecuador, if, for me, it feels like, do you know the game Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, for me, Ecuador design feels like you're starting oh, okay. and you jump down and, you, and the guy lands in Ecuador. And he's a designer and he, and he just has to make up all these things mm -hmm. uh, while he can. So like design in Ecuador for me feels like Minecraft. <laughs> that maybe sounds strange to say, but <laughs> that's what it, fe it feels to me like. Um, so, but how do you feel about that? How do these uh, living in your, mm -hmm. your country? I think you? Actually, it's like a lottery for people because like, you know when people is talented, but sometimes they don't know what they're doing, but it looks great, <laughs> like at the final job. And as Mateo said, it's, it's something like, it's really cool because you don't have rules. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes it'll work, but sometimes it won't. Yeah. But it's it's cool when you mix this culture, like, and when you see the cultures from other countries, like, m maybe you get like uh, different feelings from them because, uh, like, for example, if you go to to Europe, to Italy, to other countries, like, they have a background there, and in here, like, people don't know the rules, but. Uh, 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 I was like listening to Mateo like before, and he was talking about Osvaldo Guayas. I mean, like he expresses his feelings like with art, with design, and it's really cool because like uh, he's really talented. But maybe he didn't know that until he did that. So it's like a lottery for me and, and for people from Ecuador in design. Yeah, and I also think that uh, the difference between uh, um, design and art is that art is pure expression of mm -hmm. yourself. But when you are uh, like a designer uh, or you're um, making a project, uh, you have to compare yourself with some clients who has some needs. Oh, yeah. And you have to find a way to like solve them problem of 
uh, like uh, make the make like make the logo bigger. Yeah, uh, and, and use the font comic sans. Yeah, that's true. It's mm -hmm. it's part of the way, and the um, the background culture helps you to uh, you know like uh, teach to your uh, clients that they need you, and also that they need your way of doing this job. I think that's really important in in, in Ecuador is that the people. The designers need to, to show to the clients why um, what they're doing is important. I think that's one of the biggest things is that I think that the clients in Ecuador, they just think design is like um, adding some colors mm -hmm. and using a typography like, um, and they don't, the Ecuadorian is, Ecuador is like a beautiful country and I, I love it and I, and I always will love it. But it does have a, a situation in terms of design where uh, it maybe doesn't think it's important. Mm -hmm. And maybe you probably feel mm -hmm. that also. Yeah, that's the your... thing, like, because, like, design in Ecuador, as you said, like, people see it, like, it's not really important. And when I was talking to you, like, the other day, you were telling that designers in Europe, they're really important. They're, like, for example... In Ecuador, like a doctor from for uh, people like for people from well, designer designers aren't like doctors, but we no, no, like in, I mean, <laughs> you, can't, no. you, can't, you can't save a, a person's life by using the right <laughs> yeah. font. No, I mean, <laughs> oh. I mean, like in the importance of it, yeah, yeah because yeah. like people yeah. respect doctors, they know that they need doctors, and that's what they do in Europe. Like yeah. they they need designers, as Mateo said. Like you do, you guide them. They they know like. They, they know what they want, but they need a guidance. And in here in Ecuador, it's like, uh, just add some power, stuff like that. And they don't take like designers, like really like the, in the important that they should. And that's the thing, like we feel like from my point of view that uh, like we need people like, for example, you guys that should that do this conference and teach people like what design really is. And that's what Ecuador is because maybe it's just because of ignorance. You know, the thing is that also in Italy or in Europe, it would be great which designer could be like doctors because I understand what are you saying. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's um, is an everyday battle. You always have oh, to we're, fight we're for all, yeah every day. Yeah, because um, it's like uh, it's not easy to. Um, uh, to explain to your clients with you are important your job is important because it's easy you know sometimes happens that uh, hey i have like a cousin who know how to <laughs> use paint I, okay I, let's exactly. make a, I uh, always, you know i always tell stories about that like um, um people if they think they can use the computer that that means they're a designer yeah so my sister knows photoshop does that, does that mean my sister is a designer no. Yeah, this is, but unfortunately, happens also of in uh, also in Europe. And my, my granny is a designer. <laughs> my gran my granny knows Photoshop. She used Word. <laughs> she knows like, Microsoft Excel. Ah, maybe. that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at the end, which uh, what we are were saying before is that at, at the end, Photoshop or Word or Paint are just like uh, tools. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is that you know, like designer, a process, a method to exactly. come from a, a, a need to a solution. And uh, nobody can do, can do and, this. And, and that's the thing, because like, uh, is you have to follow some steps and you study like the, like the importance of colors, what they mean, stuff like that. And I've seen like horrible designs like in the streets, uh, like any person thinks that they can make a logo because they follow a tutorial, stuff like that. Right. And it's not that. You have to understand that design is a like really important career. And design is everything for me because like everything starts like by seeing something, like by seeing the colors of something, the design of something. Even like if you meet someone, it's like like how they, they look, right? So it's design is everything for me. That's, yeah, also because there is not like a good recipe of a, a good design, a good mm -hmm. communication. Every no. time is changing. You cannot just take one part uh, from you can't, another. You can't take like a certain Italian cheese yeah. and mix it, mix it with a German font. Yeah, yes, indeed. <laughs> and also this one needs culture in uh, on your back because it's like... Uh, 
uh, if you know, uh, like, let's talk about colors. If you know that every colors bring a message, but after that you have to compare it and put this color with the right font or the right uh, exactly. sign, because if you use it in a, the in the wrong way, you're doing a, um, bad communication, which is worse than don't communicate anything. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because like people are used to also break the rules, as you said, like you have to know the rules so you can break them. Exactly. So you have to know but, that. But first. I think I think bit by bit, um, Ecuador is is learning. Um, it's becoming a better country for design, and I think in the future, Ecuador will be one of the best countries in Latin America for design. I one hundred percent believe that, and I know it's going to happen. Um, it's just a matter of I think ten, fifteen, twenty years. And you're going to have guys like you, Julio, Mario, and uh, and some of the audio people here that we have that are like are, are not are another another level. Um, it, they just need um, that bit more experience, that more knowledge, and doing things that like we're, we're doing mm -hmm. now. Like that push and that and there. that push uh, and always to to remember that design is their life and it's their passion and 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 they need to remember that. Exactly. Um, but the thing is that. I loved European design. Mm -hmm. I love the simplicity and I love um, how there, it's very minimalistic. And I love the, the, the interaction between Latin American design and, um, and European design. Because I think probably Latin American design is more passion. Yeah, for sure. But also, uh, you know, it's, I think it is a, a good translation of the people because uh, you know design and is what you do is uh, how do you feel inside mm -hmm. of you is also design is like expression of yourself and so in uh, South America the the people is more is warmer than in Europe it's more part of Europe I'm from Italy which is like a warm country it's like Spain but if you go to the north is like in Netherlands or Germany cool. uh, the as you say, were saying the um, design is more minimal is more uh, um, is not aesthetic at all is completely you know uh, functionality and this is good because you can learn from them and then try to put your uh, personal expression from the master because uh, in Netherlands in uh, in Germany, in Italy, during the 60s and 70s, we had a lot of uh, important masters of design. And so what now we can do is just try to bring this uh, background culture and put our new um, way of thinking. Because today, young people, is more, it's, it's easy for um, the young people to travel a lot around the world. So to get some uh, inspiration from uh, other countries and make this kind of links is like as today between Europe and South America. And I think it's really a good opportunity for us also for involve our um, way to, pr to make projects. I think that's an interesting point, Matteo, is that for me, I don't like the idea of South American designers just focusing on, focusing on South American design or their life. In, or so. I think that you need to learn from all cultures yeah. and all aspects of, of life in general. Mm -hmm. And I think that, Julio, like, what you're, you're like an, you went to America, and how, how do you feel about that experience? Was it, was it uh, a good for you or, or what? Or? Yeah, it was awesome because you can learn about different cultures. But the main thing for me, and as I was talking to you the other day, is about attitude. Because like, like most of it is about attitude. Because you have to be sure about what uh, is like that your designs are good, and when you're going to talk to customer, like stuff like that. It's all about how you sell the idea. You have to be sure about what you have and what you done. Because you already have the the experience. You already have the knowledge. It's all about how you do, how you sell the idea, how like make. Uh, appear your your work important because it it really is, and that's for me like and yeah it's about learning about other cultures other languages stuff like that because you learn from every part of the country and you can mix everything with your designs and depending on the on the client you can give them what they need what they want. The other thing that I think is that uh, as were you saying you can uh, grab. Uh, information and inspiration from everywhere. Oh, you can and grab the Metal de Mondo, you can grab <laughs> the Basilica, you can... 
Yeah. No, but the thing that I saw here in in South America is that, for example, the street art is really is really present. It's present. It is here and is more imp is really important also for Europe. When we look at uh, uh, Mexican, Colombian, uh, for example, uh, um, street art is an uh, inspiration for us because here is more like um, they're trying uh, new ways of expression. And so in Europe, we are learning about here. And I think it's the same could be in the other way if uh, here uh, in uh, South America could uh, like learn and, and uh, learn something from Europe about the graphic design structure, which are older. And uh, the la, la mezcla de, de los dos, the, the, um, yeah, the mixture of the two words, I think it could be a new way of designing. And it's, it's something that is slowly happening. I think it's really important like, for you to know like the cultures of different countries because sure. it depends because you never know what customer or client you're going to have so you can give them what they want depending of of the culture of the country and you can also add like uh, culture to p things that people are not even expecting like mm -hmm. Like say if you have a French client and you bring your Ecuadorian culture into that project, then it could be like really interesting and you could reach other o other audiences. But yeah, um, thank you very much to Julio and thank you very much thank to you. Mateo. It was a pleasure. Um, Thanks, you I hope guys. you come back to a future episode of Designers oh, Take in the hope. Future. I hope so. It would so. be great. Um, thank you very much here for joining us here today. We are currently in the awesome um, uh, UT great. Radio. Uh, UTE is a university in Quito, Ecuador. Uh, we are honored to do Designer Speak here. We had some problems with audio in the other editions, but now thanks to our awesome audio team. Thank you. Um, it, we hope that this is a new future for Designer Speak where we sound better and we probably look the same. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we, we look do more. I don't, I, I don't think, I, no, we can't change how we look. We can't be more <laughs> handsome. <laughs> I think we're all going to be just, uh, but at least we'll sound better. Uh, so <laughs> thanks to, to the UTE audio team for that. Um, and we'll see you again very soon, guys. Thank you very much.